talking about the challenge we are facing. Throughout the whole lecture, we've been repeatedly talking about our futures, artificial intelligence, and future designs, all these top the topics and subjects. Um, we've been repeatedly saying we should not worry about that much of the, um, the creativity of artificial intelligence. But as we all know recently that AlphaGo again defeated uh, the world top Go player, um, as well as the AlphaGo Zero can start fake if a Go player machine can fake, which means there is a possibility they can upgrade to a level of they are intelligences and they can also think and create better design as well. But still we should not worry because uh, the machine engineering cause consumptions of automa uh, automatically manufacturing and the level of details that they can manage are still taking a long period of time to process and development, develop it. But still, uh, how do we use data feedbacks from machines or from the AI um, intelligent developments to guide us is a solution and is also a challenge of that. Um, we should not resist of the um, collaboration between us and the machine. Um, we should also have the confidence about us. We are the one who control at least from period of time, might be 10 years or 20 years, we don't know. But still, as said before, we need to prepare ourselves. On the other hand, there is one thing that definitely 100% the machine cannot replace us, which is the heritage we hire from our ancestors and those kind of masterpiece of technologies. Um, as the beginning of the class, I said about this was because we lose, we volunteer ourselves, gave up all these techniques, we lose abilities, and we lose the ability to, to understand, to uh, identify what is the real high quality of making and the craftsmanship. So for us, it's our responsibility to reserve them, to get them back, and before all the masters are dying out. So how do we learn from those old masters? It's a challenge to us. Because I remember when I was in school, um, almost 20 some years ago, my professor was already on their 70s and 80s. Some of them already died on their 90s. They were the true masters in Europe or America. Um, when the great immigration uh, time stars, they are family or their ancestors start to immigrate to, uh, from Europe to New York on the 20s and until the 40s and 50s and then they start their business and hiring their heritage from this industry or these master techniques or ateliers, whatever this um, uh, forms. And whichever they learn, they carry it, they hire it and they brought them to the states and because that was the industrial um, the establishment of the industrialization uh, at least uh, in the east coast new york lots of those great masters are reserving those techniques and some of them are in the west coast and some of them are still higher until now in europe and then um, as recent years even my school um, they had this great expansion and merge, um, which is the uh, institute that had merged with uh, the Shangha Cindy Lab, um, trying to keep and continue these great French master techniques and technologies. But still, um, we are not just, I mean, globalized, we are not just having these kind of French techniques, we also have this. Belgian techniques, we have those Italian techniques, we have the Dutch techniques, we have all techniques from all different countries, British, American, Chinese, everywhere. We should all reserve all these things 
and if each of us as a designer or a creative person can volunteer ourselves to learn to reserve more and more techniques and continue and pass it on to our next generation of our designers then which means we human are eventually always taking control of our creativities.